everyone! Today I'm going to show you a super easy and free way to save all of your book notes from your Kindle into whatever note-taking app that you use. And I'm also going to be sharing a free book notes template that I use in Rome, and you can download that in the description below. My name is Andrea Eppi, I'm currently a UX designer at Apple, and I make videos about design, tech, and productivity. So lately I've been trying to take notes on all of the books I've been reading after being inspired by people like Nat Eliasson and Derek Sivers, who post on their website not just all of the books that they've read, but also summaries of those books, which I think is really cool. So. I would like to do that too. I think taking notes on books is such a valuable thing for your life because there's so many good books out there. And if you can kind of curate those books and build your own like knowledge database, then you can use that content to build yourself up as a creator and it'll just be way more useful if you keep building over time. So let's get into how to save your highlights in Rome. Recently I got a Kindle. This is the Kindle Paperwhite. Kind of late to the game. <laughs> the first Kindle came out in 2007. So I'm only about 14 years later. I absolutely love it, just kind of wish I would have gotten it sooner. So when I'm reading on my Kindle, I like highlighting and then making a general summary of those highlights afterwards. The issue with just highlighting and not summarizing is that you never actually end up coming back to it. So by doing both, by highlighting and summarizing, then you actually come back to it, you remember it, you can apply it to your life, and you can actually get some tangible value out of it. Transferring your highlights from your Kindle to your note-taking app is a little bit tricky and I looked into Readwise because all of the productivity gurus are using it. Readwise. Readwise.io. Readwise. Basically, whenever you highlight something on a Kindle, it automatically sends that to your note-taking app. But it's $9 a month and I didn't want to spend that, so I found an alternative after a lot of trial and error. First, read and highlight on your Kindle like you normally would. Then once you're finished with the book and you're ready to transfer, we're going to export it. Now for some books you can actually export directly from the Kindle, but a lot of the books that I read are PDF and not actually from the Amazon bookstore. And for whatever reason, they don't let you export highlights from personal PDFs, so a workaround is using the iPhone Kindle app. There is a Kindle desktop app, but it doesn't sync with personal PDFs. So go to your Kindle app on the iPhone, then tap the center to get the main menu, then tap the notes icon, and then the export icon on the top right, and then click export notes to and choose email. It'll ask what citation style you want to export it as. I just choose none, and then you tap export again. It'll pull up a populated email, and you just type in your email address that you want to send it to. And then once you've sent it, just hop on over to your laptop to open that email. The file that the highlights are sent in is an HTML file. And if you just open the HTML file as is, it'll open in a new tab like this with all of your highlights and the page or location. Now you could just copy and paste from there, but if you want to take it a step further, you can use this website called Kindle Formatter and it'll format it into Markdown or for Rome. So just drag your HTML file into the second column and in the third column, it will appear formatted with bullet points and such, perfect for Rome. You can also change the formatting in the first column over here if you want. Then just select everything in the third column, copy and paste that into a new page for your book in Rome like this. From there, I skim through the highlights and make notes on big ideas and themes. I just focus on summarizing what really resonates with me, not what I think I should be focusing on. I have a book notes template that when I add a new book page, I just press the shortcut colon colon. It pulls up a list of my templates. I can click the book notes one and the page populates with that template so I can fill it up. And I'm sharing this book notes template for Rome below if you're interested. It's just a simple text file and it has the instructions in there. So the main thing that I think is helpful in these book review templates is to write three sentences of a summary because it forces you to be concise and remember what you actually learned. So with my book notes, I try to use the Zettelkasten method, which is basically a technique for trying to front load all of the work ahead of time by writing super quick notes when you see something interesting, and then going through those quick notes later 
and thinking about how that could be relevant to your other work or how it's interesting to you personally and making permanent notes then. And when you're ready to write an article or YouTube video or something, then you already have this collection of notes that's already well thought through and you can just pull together quickly and easily. So that's how I save my Kindle book notes in my note taking app. And don't forget to grab the free Rome book notes template in the description below. Let me know if you found this helpful or if you'd like to see more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's video.